Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I'm Michael Brenholt, and in today's video, I want to show you how to use some of the advanced FDM features within GrabCAD Print. But before we begin, please take a moment to click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, let's get started. The first thing to do, as always, is to come up here to the right hand side after you've loaded a model and click on the tray settings. Make sure to set this up the way you would like for the material and slice height options for processing a part. Next one down would then be the model settings. Once you click on that, click on the specific model you would like to modify and then come back over into the settings options. You have a choice, changing the infill to a sparse, a sparse double dense, a hexagram, or a solid. In this case, we are going to change to a hexagram infill style. Upon doing that, an option then pops up for us to change the infill density. This will change the size of the hexagrams within the part. Next one down is the body thickness. This will add contours to the outside body of the part, increasing the toughness of the build. We will maximize that out just to show you what it looks like through a slice preview. Infill angle. The infill angle will allow you to modify the angle layer by layer upon which the material is being extruded. And finally, you have options for thickening thin walls, as well as use variable with fill. Once you've made a choice for how you want to modify the part, then come back up here to the right hand side and select the show slice preview. We will click on that option and the software will slice the part. Upon completion of the software slicing the part, it will generate a preview of how the machine is going to build that part layer by layer. If you would like to preview those layers, you can come over here to the left hand side Click on this slide bar and by pulling it up or down you can see how the software is going to build that part layer by layer. Noticing that this is a hexagram with extra contours around the outside of the part adding an extra skin or toughness to this piece. But we were only able to modify this part the same throughout the entire piece. If in a case of this part it is an assembly of files Come back over here to the right hand side and select the return to model view. Upon doing that we will go to the left hand side and click on the project panel. Upon doing that it's going to open up and show me that this native CAD file is actually a series of different bodies. And each one of those bodies can be modified individually to have a different fill. If we select on this part, come back over here to the right hand side and choose the model settings Notice how if I come back to the left and select body 4 or body 5, it won't let me change anything. Well, you first need to come up and click on the group icon. After doing that, then when you come back and select body 1 or body 2, for example, it will then let you modify each one individually. Now, in this case, we're going to modify different pieces and turn them into solid, for example, for body 1. Body 2 we will leave as a hexagram. But then the rest of these I'm going to change back to solid just for a visual effect on the part. So I'll just hop back and forth between the two options, clicking on a body on the left, choosing an option on the right, and so forth and so on. Now please note if I want to be even more specific about how to change these and make one a sparse double dense or a sparse, change the body thickness. Again, I have that option to do all of these tools individually based on the body that I have selected. Upon completion of that option, one we haven't touched on yet is called the face. If I were to select the face option, the face then allows me to come in and add extra material behind a given face. Let's take this radius for example. If we were worried that there might be wear on this radius, we could come in and say, all right, I'd really like to make sure that I add an extra bit of material here. So clicking on the, the surface thickness, we will highlight that and say, I'd like to make it a quarter of an inch. Clicking on enter, it will make sure that there's extra material behind that face up to a quarter of an inch. If we were to do the same on this face on this side, select that option, come in and highlight this, change it to the same thing, select enter, and it will modify the extra material behind that face. Once we make all of our selections and choices for how we want to modify the different material, whether it's a body or a face, then come back up here to the right hand side and select on the show slice preview again. Clicking on that option will re-slice the part and show me a new preview with the modifications we've made. 
Again, upon completion of the slicing process, the software will preview how this is going to build layer by layer. And by coming back over here to the left hand side, we can select this drag bar and we'll pull it down to the bottom to begin with. When we get down to the lower levels, we can see now, if I zoom in on the part, that the outer pieces we had selected here and across here are solid bodies on the part. If I then zoom back out and we zoom up to the top, drag this all the way up to the top of the part, we can notice that the features on the top of the part that we had modified, again to be solid, have been made solid. Finally, if I were to scroll up and look straight down on the top of this piece, I can notice that this is that extra material that's being added behind the face option to make sure that there's enough material behind the face of this part, this being the contours and this being the extra material past that point, to make sure that there's material here if this was a wear area. Scrolling back around, there you have it. That is using some of the advanced features in FDM within the GrabCAD print software program. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at GoEngineer.com. And thanks again for spending a little bit of time with me today. Bye.